पेज फिफ्टी सिक्स लेसन फाइव अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्कूल बिफोर यू रीड वन डू यू नो दीज वर्ड्स इफ यू डोंट फाइंड आउट देयर मीनिंग्स बैंडेज क्रच क्रिपल ऑनर मिस फॉर्च्यून सिस्टम टू लुक एट द पिक्चर्स इन दिस यूनिट and guess in what way this school may be different from other schools one i had heard a great deal about miss beam's school but not till last week did the chance come to visit it two when i arrived there was no one in sight but a girl of about 12 her eyes were covered with a bandage and she was being led carefully between the flower beds by a little boy who was about 4 years younger she stopped and it looked like she asked him who had come he seemed to be describing me to her then they passed on in the box there was which you may not know in sight means to be seen page 57 3 Miss Beam was all that I had expected middle-aged full of authority yet kindly and understanding her hair was beginning to turn grey and she had the kind of plump figure that is likely to be comforting to a homesick child i asked her some questions about her teaching methods which i had heard were simple for no more than is needed to help them to learn how to do things simple spelling adding subtracting multiplying and writing the rest is done by reading to them and by interesting talks during which they have to sit still and keep their hands quiet there are practically no other lessons 5 the real aim of this school is not so much to teach thought as to teach thoughtfulness kindness to others and being responsible citizens look out of the window a minute will you 6 i went to the window which overlooked a large garden and a playground at the back what do you see miss beam asked some difficult words in the box kindly kindly means friendly plump stout pleasantly fat responsible aware of their duties page 58 7 i see some very beautiful grounds i said and a lot of jolly children it pains me though to see that they are not all so healthy and active looking when i came in i saw one poor little girl being led about she has some trouble with her eyes now i can see two more with the same difficulty and there's a girl with a crutch watching the others at play she seems to be a hopeless cripple 8 miss beam laughed oh no she said she is not really lame this is only her lame day the others are not blind either it is only their blind day I must have looked very surprised for she laughed again. 9 This is a very important part of our system to make our children appreciate and understand misfortune we make them share in misfortune too Each term every child has one blind day one lame day one deaf day one injured day and one dumb day During the blind day their eyes are bandaged absolutely and they are on their honor not to peep the bandage is put on overnight so they wake blind this means that they need help with everything other children are given the duty of helping them and leading them about they all learn so much this way both the blind and the helpers words in the box are at play means playing hopeless means unfortunate or without hope lame day 
day on which she acts as if she was lame misfortune unfortunate condition or bad luck their eyes are bandaged they are blindfolded are on their honor have promised page 59 ten there is no misery about it miss beam continued every one is very kind and it is really something of a game before the day is over though even the most thoughtless child realizes what misfortune is 11 the blind day is of course really the worst but some of the children tell me that the dumb day is the most difficult we cannot bandage the children's mouths so they really have to exercise their will power come into the garden and see for yourself how the children feel about it 12 miss beam led me to one of the bandaged girls here's a gentleman come to talk to you said miss beam and left us 13 don't you ever peep i asked the girl oh no she explained that would be cheating but i had no idea it was so awful to be blind you can't see a thing you feel you are going to be hit by something every moment it's such a relief just to sit down are your helpers kind to you i asked 14 fairly but they are not as careful as i shall be when it is my turn those that have been blind already are the best helpers it is perfectly ghastly not to see i wish you'd try shall i lead you anywhere i asked words in the box misery means difficulty unpleasantness thoughtless careless come to talk who has come to talk awful means bad page 60 15 oh yes she said let's go for a little walk only you must tell me about things i shall be so glad when today is over the other bad days can't be half as bad as this having a leg tied up and hopping about on a crutch is almost fun i guess having an arm tied up is a bit more troublesome because you can't eat without help and things like that i don't think i'll mind being deaf for a day at least not much but being blind is so frightening my head aches all the time just from worrying that i'll get hurt where are we now 16 in the playground i said we are walking towards the house miss beam is walking up and down the garden with a tall girl word in the box troublesome which means difficult page 61 what is the girl wearing my little friend asked a blue cotton skirt and a pink blouse i think it's milly she said what color is her hair very light i said yes that's milly she's the head girl there's an old man tying up roses i said yes that's peter he's the gardener he's hundreds of years old and here comes a girl with curly red hair she's on crutches that's anita she said page 62 17 and so we walked on gradually i discovered that i was 10 times more thoughtful than i ever thought i could be i also realized that if i had to describe people and things to someone else it made them more interesting to me when i finally had to leave i told miss beam that i was very sorry to go ah she replied then there's something in my system after all ev lucas abridged and simplified word in the box gradually means slowly working with the text a put these sentences from the story in the right order and write them out in a paragraph don't refer to the text 1 i shall be so glad when today is over 2 
having a leg tied up and hopping about on a crutch is almost fun, I guess. 3. I don't think I'll mind being deaf for a day, at least not much. 4. But being blind is so frightening. 5. Only you must tell me about things. 6. Let's go for a walk. 7. The other bad days can't be half as bad as this. B. Answer the following questions. 1. Why do you think the writer visited Miss Beam's school? 1. Page 63. Question number 2. What was the game that every child in the school had to play? 9. 3. Each term, every child has one blind day, on lame day. Complete the line. Which day was the hardest? Why was it the hardest? 9, 11, 15. 4. What was the purpose of these special days? 5, 9. Working with language. A. Match the words and phrases with their meanings in the box here. Paragraph numbers 1. Homesick Paragraph number 3 2. Practically Paragraph 4 3. It pains me Paragraph 7 4. Appreciate Paragraph 9 5. Thoughtless Paragraph 10 6. Exercise Paragraph 11 7. Relief Paragraph 13 8. Ghastly, paragraph 14. Almost, it hurts me. Terrible, test the strength of. Understanding the difficulties. Wanting to be home. A welcome change. Not very caring. B. Reword these lines from the story. 1. I had heard a great deal about Miss Beam's school. 2. Miss Beam was all that I had expected, middle-aged, full of authority. 3. I went to the window, which overlooked a large garden. 4. We cannot bandage the children's mouths, so they really have to exercise their willpower. Page 64. C. Given here is a page from a dictionary. Look at it carefully and 1. Find a word which means the same as ghastly. Write down the word and its two meanings. 2. Find a word meaning a part of the school year. And 3. Find a word that means examination. Page 65 D. A poem for you to read. All but Blind by Walter de la Mare. All but blind in his chambered hole Groups for worms the four-clawed mole All but blind in the evening sky The hooded bat twirls softly by All but blind in the burning day The barn owl blunders on her way, and blind as are these three to me, so blind to someone I must be. Page 66 Speaking and Writing A. Make a short list of things you find difficult to do, for example, turning a somersault or threading a needle. Compare your list with the others in the class. Can you explain why you find these things difficult to do? B. Look at your hands carefully. Now write down for each finger one action for which that finger is particularly important. For example, the second or index finger helps to hold the knife down firmly when cutting. Know your country. 1. Which states border Andhra Pradesh? 2. Which is India's largest island? Answers on page 1. 